Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. Today is the five under five challenge. You guys know I love this challenge on the fifth of every month at 5 p.m. This month's theme is Dollar Tree decor. So I have five really cute, simple bee themed decor DIYs for you. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give me a big thumbs up. Let's begin with the DIYs and I will go over the playlist a little bit later in the video. So you guys know these little, um, they were ornaments or plaques. They did come out last year at the Dollar Tree, but they are out again this year. Just taking some of this spackle from the Dollar Tree. This is a little bit dried out, um, but you can add a little bit of water to moisten it again. Now, once that is all dry, I'm just giving um, just the top and the sides three coats of white acrylic paint using my blow dryer in the middle to dry or speed up the dry time. And you, of course, you guys know these Dollar Tree calendars. I absolutely love this bee themed one. And it was one of the larger ones at the back of the uh, calendar. So before I add that, I had these wooden, they're called wooden pieces from the Dollarama. These were $1.50, but they almost look like little spools. Um, so I'm only going to use three here, just giving each one a coat of yellow acrylic paint. And once they are dry, again, I'm just going to use a three, just placing them where I want just to make sure everything is aligned and I'm going to hot glue them in place. And next comes the calendar. I just cut right around the picture. It looked like a wreath with beehives and bees around it. So I just followed the outline. Going to Mod Podge the surface. Then I'm gonna place the calendar piece on top and place more Mod Podge right away. You know the rule is people say that you're supposed to put the Mod Podge on, let it dry for 15 minutes, you can put another layer on. I just did it all right away. <laughs> So this is essentially it for this DIY. I'm gonna do the final reveal at the very end of the video because everything really ties in together on a tier tray. So stay tuned to the very end. Um, for DIY number two, very simple. These little wooden pots came from the Dollar Tree this year. I know they've been out for years, but I've never seemed to get my hands on them, but I did this year. Um, so just taking some of this yellow and white butcher's twine, pick this up from the Dollar Tree probably a few years ago. It was a red, orange, and yellow one inside. Just see, you see here, I'm just making a simple shoelace bow, very tiny, and I'm gonna hot glue it to the side of the pot. And the famous plants or flowers that came from the Dollar Tree years ago, but they are always still there, good to have on hand. And you can deconstruct these and break them apart and use them for multiple DIYs. These fit perfectly in this little pot. Um, now I'm taking these bees that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. There was 12 in a pack. They're stickers, so they do have those little uh, foam stickers on the back. Um, but here what I'm gonna do is just taking, or you see me here actually taking the sticker off because I'm gonna use my hot glue instead. Um, yeah, you, but the stickers are quite good. You could have kept it on, but yeah, here I am just hot gluing the bee. I'm going to hot glue it to a toothpick and you'll see me using my needle nose pliers just to cut off a little bit of the excess um, toothpick in order to fit in the pot. And that is essentially it for this quick and easy DIY. You guys, let's jump into this awesome playlist oh my gosh guys it is hosted on the fifth of every month you guys know the hosts are emily with from charm cheek we have missy with crafty cove and we have annalee ashby with annalee ashby diy i'm gonna leave all of their links and the playlist links in the description box below please go over and check out this awesome playlist you will not dis be disappointed i know there are some amazingly talented ladies in this challenge so Please enjoy. 
All right, guys. So a third DIY. These little cork board phone or things came from the Dollar Tree. It was a two pack. I actually picked these up last year. I like the fact that it's a hexagon. Yes, hexagon. <laughs> um, but I'm going to paint half of this with some yellow acrylic paint remember cork is very absorbent so you might need a little bit more paint than normal So I found some of this really cute uh, craft paper from Hobby Lobby. It has some bees on it. I thought this was perfect for this DIY. Just going to outline it here. So I'm basically embossing it um, so that way I can see where the edges are. Now you see me turning it over. Now I have a line. Just going to cut it out with my scissors. And I'm just going to Mod Podge the paper to the cork. Again, because it is, it is absorbent, um, you really have to. What I did here was I turned the cork upside down with the paper. You could put it between a book or something, something heavy, so that way it'll stay um, sealed to the cork until it actually dries fully. Just taking some of this satin ribbon from the Dollar Tree, just going to cover over the edge of the paper, just using my hot glue, uh, hot glue gun to seal it in place. Picked up some of this floral arrangement from the Dollar Tree. New labels this year, really nice looking. Um, just taking a stem, well, it looks like a branch there as well. And I'm taking some of the yellow flowers, just trimming it off to where I need it. And I'm just gonna hot glue those just to the corner of the uh, hectagon. And just taking a couple more of these bees and I'm going to hot glue them just to either end of the floral arrangement with my hot glue gun. And you're going to see the final result at the very end of the video. I did not show you this part, but I just added um, a clothespin at the back of this just so it can stand up on its own. All right, guys. So the fourth DIY, this is a lot of these DIYs are very simple or you can use DIYs that you already have in your home, things that you already have in your home. Um, you guys know I made these wooden blocks. Why well, I didn't make them. I bought the three pack of wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree, painted them and made that pumpkin spice latte last year for Halloween or Thanksgiving. Now I just kept it like that because I can use those again for this coming year. Um, but I'm just going to spell the word B, just taking those wooden letters, painted them yellow with some yellow acrylic paint. And that is it, guys. This is how simple this DIY is. And I'm getting two uh, functions out of one DIY. Guys, the fifth and final DIY, this wooden pack of eggs came from the Dollar Tree this year. There was smaller ones than this. I cannot remember. I think the smaller ones had 12 and then this one had eight larger eggs. This looked like the body of a bee. So I'm giving it one coat of black acrylic paint using my blow dryer to speed up the dry time. And I just kept this in the video because I lost hold of the body and the paint just made that squiggly line on the paper, which looked like the bee was flying away. <laughs> That was my own little fun joke for while well, I was making this DIY. <laughs> so now that the black is dry, I'm just going to paint three quarters of the egg in a yellow acrylic paint. As you see here, this marker is one of those glass markers. It was a three pack from the Dollar Tree. They had like a pink one and a blue and the black. I'm just making the outline or three, two lines going around the diameter of the body of the bee. And so you see here, this is what it looks like so far. Um, I just use the tip of my paintbrush, dipped it in the yellow, and I was able to get those little eyeballs. 
this bamboo skewer i loved because it had a pointy tip at the skewer i painted it black um and i did that for uh on a toothpick as well um this one looks like the little stinger for the bees but and i'm gonna make a two other ones so i can make feet for him so he can stand up on his own Okay, guys, tell me he's not cute already. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I have to give him some wings. So I just improvised here, took some of these little leaves from a plant from the Dollar Tree, just cut off a little two uh, leaves right there. They were attached. They look like the perfect size for his wings using some hot glue and attaching it to his back. And that is it for this cute little bee. Oh my gosh, guys. So here's the final result of all my DIYs. What do you guys think? Tell me which one is your favorite uh, I, can i try to make everything super easy super simple for you guys to do as well oh i just love the five under five challenge um yes you guys know thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys are new here to my channel welcome i would love for you guys to just try my channel and be a part of my youtube world remember don't forget i'm gonna leave the link to the host and the playlist link in the description box below please go over say hi you will not be disappointed with all these amazing talented ladies i do hope you guys have a wonderful day remember i do have an instagram account as well same name shannon's crafty diys i do post uh pictures that i find from the dollar tree i do post some other little short videos as well so go over and say hi all right guys i hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys at the next video bye